I'm going to give you a preview of analysis. Your Brooks essay is an analysis essay, um, and actually we're going to be doing a lot of analysis over the course of this class. Um, just a quick preview. Hopefully by now you don't think I'm crazy and just in love with Agro Girl Pop from the early 21st century. Uh, you'll see now that Avril Lavigne, Pink, and Carrie Underwood were all cited in David Brooks's essay about how kind of, you know, dating structure has been changing and how young people see romance and the possibilities of relationships has changed. Um, but I want to help you better analyze these songs. So that's what we're going to do today is a preview of analysis. So first, I want you guys to read this poem by Shel Silverstein. I love that poem. Um, so quick, I want to talk about a few things from the process of analysis. I want to talk about the difference between what's and why's and how's. Um, in the earlier video, I talked about how your thesis, your topic sentences, and your arguments are all essentially the same animal. And I say, they're lions, they're cougars, they're tabbies. They're all the same animal. Well, what I really meant was that they're what's. You know? They're your ideas. They're what you're arguing. They're what you believe. They're what you're trying to convince me. Okay? Your ideas. Your claims. Another big essay word is claim. What are your claims? Um, it helps answer the question, so what's your point? Well, it's my what's thesis, my topics, my arguments. Those are what's. But you've got to explain those, right? Why do you feel that way you feel? How do you feel that you feel? So these are like explanations. They're also kind of because sentences. You know, if I tell you that Red Mill on Greenwood is the best place to buy a burger in the city of Seattle? That's my claim. Red Mill is the best place in the city of Seattle to buy a burger. Now you might disagree with me and think it's dicks. Maybe you're a Red Robin fan, maybe you're a Five Guys fan, and that's cool. But this is my claim, and you're gonna say, oh yeah, prove it. And I've gotta have whys or hows. Why I feel Red Mill is the best. How I feel Red Mill is the best. Um, so when you're exploring something, you don't just say what, you say why and how. This, ladies and gentlemen, is analysis. Okay? It's easy to argue, and this is what I believe, this is what I believe, this is what I believe, this is what I believe. But when someone looks you in the eye and says, why? You've got to be able to explore that and back yourself up. Practice this. Practice your whys and hows. That's you taking baby steps in towards analysis. Awesome? Just like little Melinda May, if you're willing to take these baby steps and say, well, why do I think that? How do I think that? Then you'll be able to do the bigger things and analyze a whole essay or analyze a whole book or analyze a whole play by Shakespeare. If you'll take the little bites, then you can eat the whole whale.